everybody, welcome to my channel. Special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times. I really appreciate it. Today we're talking about my favorite fragrances. I haven't spoken about fragrances in over a year, so I figured I would break down all of my favorites, what kind of scents I look for. We're gonna start off with my most recent perfume. This is from Dossier, which is a company that sells fragrances at a much more affordable cost. There's a lot of inspired ones. For example, this one's inspired by Victor and Roth's Flower Bomb, which retails for like $115. I smelled this at Macy's a couple of months ago, so this is the scent that I decided to choose. Basically, they're vegan, they're cruelty-free, they sell a lot of inspired high-end perfumes without the major price tag. So, this one smells amazing. I'm gonna put the notes on the screen here so you can see, because I'm not the best at describing scents. Basically, what I was looking for was something, I normally go for super, super sweet, fruity scents. Like, I like to be overwhelmed. I like those obnoxiously, like, you know what I mean? Sweet smell, like sickeningly sweet. This time I did kind of want to change a little bit, so I picked up this one. This is the Gourmand White Flowers. It smells really good. It has like bergamot, green tea, white flowers, orchid, rose, um, a little bit of caramel, some vanilla, which I definitely smell. I think to me, this is what I wanted the Marc Jacobs perfume to smell like, which I do have and I'm gonna talk about. That one is so light that sometimes I don't really smell it on myself and I like to be able to smell the perfume. I like to be able to catch a whiff of it while I'm just doing things, like doing activities. So with this one, it's like, it's similar to that, but it just has more oomph to it, if that makes sense. So this is like a light, sweet, floral scent with some vanilla in it, but it's not so light that I can barely smell it. I'm definitely intrigued by this brand. I definitely wanna explore a little bit more because they have a wide assortment of different ones as well as their own original blends, which I think is really cool. So I will have them linked down below as well as a discount code. This is not sponsored. I was not paid or financially compensated for this product or anything like that. I'm just letting you know how I feel about them. And so far, so good. I will definitely do another video, I think, on this just to see how I still feel about it. I'll have a horror story about one time when I tried an inspired perfume from a different company years ago And I'll, I'm gonna have that at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that perfumes are so expensive nowadays that to have an alternative that is so affordable um, But reliable is a nice option to have so right now. I'm on a strict budget I'm saving up for the wedding in this in the fall and perfumes are like over a hundred dollars and I get it, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna knock this one out of the way just cause it's a silly, it's silly, but I still love it. Britney Spears Fantasy. Britney Spears Fantasy is the only celebrity perfume that I've ever liked. And this is my favorite. It's super sweet. Like I said, it's like cotton candy in your face sweetness. But I absolutely love this and I really wish they would bring it back. Um, I still have some left. Some, like there's companies and websites that still sell it, but I don't even think they're being manufactured right now. But this is just my all-time favorite perfume ever. I really like fruits more than florals, which is why I was surprised that I really like the white flowers so much. This one's a little bit more newer to me. I think I got this for my birthday back in September, and I am a little bit more than halfway done with it. So this is the Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs perfume. I absolutely love the bottle of all the Daisy lines, and I'm thinking of choosing one of these for my fragrance for my wedding. There's like this wedding tradition where you associate a fragrance with your wedding and then your anniversary and special dates with your significant other. So I want something that has a nice bottle for the photography that's gonna take place that day. But yeah, this is again, very light. I like this a little bit more than the original Daisy, but don't get me wrong, I love Daisy too. That's like the type of perfume that I keep repurchasing, but sometimes it's too light that I don't really smell it. This is like Daisy, but it's a little cleaner. I would say it's a little stronger. It's like a clean, sweet, floral scent. I like it and my fiance really loves this one. Next we have Euphoria. This was a repurchase. I haven't had this in a couple years. This is a 3.3 fluid ounces. It's a very interesting bottle. Um, this is super intense. This is like a nighttime perfume for me. Will I repurchase? I'm not quite sure anymore. I think I no longer love this scent as much as I used to. It's, it's so strong and a little bit musky that it kind of feels like a cologne. But like I said before, I do like it. It lasts a really long time. This is intense. You don't need a lot of spritz, but I'm someone who's like spritzing all over the place. It's good. It's, it's definitely good. I'm gonna have the notes here because like I said, I'm not the best at describing scents, but this is like going out type of cologne. I said cologne. This is, this is like a going out type of perfume for me, like special occasions, late night, because I feel like, I mean, I do, I have worn it in the daytime, but it is a little bit strong. I have a couple of baby daisies. Um, this is the original Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I love, clean, 
it's it smells good i just wish it had a little bit more oomph to it you know what i mean then i have the daisy mark jacobs again i don't know why these came with two and then this is the same one i also have the love one i don't know where it is i thought it was here but this is the baby version of this i get the little sample sizes sometimes just because perfumes are so expensive nowadays so now for my horror story so basically when i was a little kid i went to rainbows um with my friend i didn't have a car like we didn't have a family car or anything but my friend did so she and her cool mom took us or took me or took both of us i guess to rainbows she would take us to rainbows and mandy's because those types of stores were never available in my neighborhood so it was like a big fun cool thing for me so when i went there you know we were buying clothes you know high school fashion in the early 2000s or 2010s i mean and um, there was a table of knockoff perfumes right so I'm just looking around and of course, of course I see, of course I see a knockoff for the Britney Spears fantasy perfume, but not this one, the circus one, which I also really loved. And I bought it, it was like five bucks, right? So I bought it, I smelled it in the stores and I was like, yes, this smells identically to the product the original right so i bought it and i i went home happy and i started using it on a daily basis but what i didn't realize is that you know perfumes can change depending on your chemistry like the smell of it so it must have not reacted well with my body chemistry because eventually it would turn into a fishy smell i never smelled it but according to my mom it was disgusting it was awful she hated when i would wear it i was only smelling the initial scent when i first sprayed it so clearly there was something happening there so I guess I walked around high school for a couple weeks with like awful perfume because I didn't realize it and it was so bad that my mom just ended up throwing that bottle away without asking me. She just tossed it because she was like, you can't keep doing this, you can't keep wearing it. And I'm pretty sure I bought another scent too, like another knockoff of another perfume that I was really obsessed with, but I cannot remember what it was. I'm not sure if it was another fantasy perfume because they have like the fantasy midnight one. I'm not sure if it was that one or what. All I remember is the circus fantasy. And yeah, so that's why I've always been very hesitant of buying like inspired perfumes or like knockoff perfumes just because you don't know what you're gonna get. But in this case, I did try it. it, smells pretty good. And I'm curious to see how the others in this website perform as well. Because when I first sprayed this, I was like, I'm gonna keep it in mind that it might change with my body chemistry, um, but it still smelled good. And the lasting power is actually pretty good too. So that being said, thank you so much for sticking around for this fragrance video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.